Hey everyone, it's Brandy today. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my Hobonichi cousin for the week. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie. So I have this super cute kit from The Right Place Plans. So here's some washi. I have some deco. And then I got the journaling kit. So one thing I already know that I forgot to do was grab some date headers. So I think... Though I'm gonna cut these because they're too big. So the when you buy like journaling kits, they're typically size for like a standard, you know, vertical. So I did check before filming, and they are too big for this kit. Uh Okay, yeah, that'll work. So then I'll just use the Hobonichi numbers. Absolutely loving this Hobonichi. Like, I can't even believe, I can't even believe that just this time last year, I think, I don't even know if I made it this far last year. Like, I had already given up on it because this year, I honestly can't imagine not having it. So... It's just so funny. I was watching, I don't remember whose video it was, but I was watching a video and she was like, I don't know about this Hobonichi. Like, I don't know if I can get with it. And I remember feeling that. And I'm like, I think it takes, at least, you know, I'm speaking for myself. I think it just took a minute for my brain to like adjust to the different style of paper. But now that it has adjusted, I'm okay. Like, oh, well, oh well. Like, I'm okay with the, you know, fickle. <laughs> the, well, I shouldn't even say fickle, the temperamental pages that are Hobonichi. Like, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with, you know, allowing my pen a little bit of time to dry. I'm okay with, you know, being gentle with stickers so you don't, like, rip your whole book up. Like, I don't know. I'm okay. And so now, even when I write in, like, a regular planner, because, you know, my faith planner and my budget planner are, like, a regular paper, I don't know. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> so I think I've gotten used to this type of thing. Oh, this looks like it might be... Is that dried out? What in the world? Oh, no. Huh. It just looks really crazy in there. Okay. I wanted a color to make my lines that was like matchy, but not too dark or anything. So we went with this pink highlighter. This one did come from Amazon. Oh, smeared that. And these are like my favorite highlighters. Although you can't really tell that by this pink one. I'm not really sure. My other ones don't look like this. So I don't know. I'm not sure what has happened to this pink one. I mean, it still writes okay. I don't know, it just looks really weird. Interesting. So anyway, I am changing this up again just a little bit. Oh, I was gonna use this. I forgot, I didn't even need that. Yeah, I didn't even need that. We're gonna use this. I totally forgot. Okay, I'll put that there. And then that'll actually be good because that'll cover up that little smear. So before I had a section for 
to do's and then I had a section for you know my like events but this week I'm not gonna put the to do's because I really put them in the back of the book like in the daily pages so I'm like it's it was starting to feel kind of redundant to have the same daily to do's in both places so the only one that I'm going to put up here that I'm like, I really need in my, you know, actual view is trash. And the only reason for that is because I have to, you know, put the trash out like on the curb. And so I need visual reminders because although it's something that I do every week, sometimes I still forget. So I want to cover up this I wish I had one box I think this will fit here I do really wish I had one box though okay we're gonna put that there I love that and then we're gonna add this little guy here for a layering effect, because why not? Sorry about all the flipping. What did I have? Okay, so the sidebar is really just like whatever I want it to be. Okay, so I do want to put uh, wow, they are really doing something up there. All right, so I'm going to use the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen to put in work because work is what I do. <laughs> And it takes up the majority of my day. All right. And then on Sunday, I'm going to put church because, again, that takes up the majority of my day. All right. Now, Friday night, I have a union training. that I got roped into. So it is actually on Friday and Saturday. So it's a couple hours on Friday night and then like all day on Saturday. Ugh. They're like, you guys are the future of the union. You need to be more involved, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Like, I don't want to be the future of the union. <laughs> but fine, since nobody else will go, I'll go. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this marker again. I do want a, like, we're going to put a master to-do list here. And I'm going to just kind of like, oh, I should have let that dry a little bit more. This fountain pen is probably not the best pen for this, but since it's the pen I chose, it's the pen we're going with. Um, But yeah, I'm going to do like writing this time instead of doing... stickers so so these to do's are things that like I don't have you know any specific time frame for they just they get done when they get done and there's no those these are like my uh 
I like to refer them as my ain't nobody the boss of me task. <laughs> you ain't the boss of me. Like, I do what I want, Cartman style task. So, yeah, whenever I feel, you know, just things that I have to do, but they don't have a specific date and or time. And then I'm trying to think, what else did I put on here? Oh, I do like to do a highlight. So we will put that. We'll put that down here. And that'll just go. Anything that was, it doesn't even, honestly, it doesn't even have to be good. <laughs> because sometimes my highlights are not necessarily great. It's just something in particular that happened that week that I felt like was worth notating. Mm. All right, and then I love this little hot chocolate girl. She's so cute. I don't really track habits in here other than reading. Because all my other ones are tracked. Ah! Oh, that's right. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, that's right. I was like, oh, no! All my other ones are tracked in my other planner. So I don't have to put anything else there. And then let's do will this box fit. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this will be any Etsy specific tasks that need to be done. We'll go in there. Uh, I did decide to set up a business planner. So the majority of that kind of information will go in there, but you never know. Want something? No, I actually like that up there. Again, more of a quick reference. I can put that there. Okay. I love these little like torn pieces. All right, so here I want to do a to buy list. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I was doing like the AM routine and the PM routine, but I don't need that. I don't need that. do to buy you know why have regular boxes when you can draw circles in them <laughs> Circle-ish things. <laughs> it's no longer really circles, but you know, okay. <laughs> All right. So then I said this is two. Bye. All right. 
right. Love that. And then... Oh, uh, put her down here. And a little tree. All right, and then we can put a little house up here. why not and just putting some more stickers in I don't know what to put here. Now I'm like, do I go ahead and just put the routines back in, even though I feel like I don't need them? Yeah, I don't know what else to put here. highlight box to do my Etsy to buy hmm I put my meals in my health planner <sighs> okay well I guess I can put I guess I can put the routines back <laughs> until I think of something else All right, so my AM routine consists of uh, Bible study. Spanish. Working out. And then... My PM routine, cooking, <laughs> homework, uh, oh, reading, and journal. And I'm going to put that in the morning, too, because a lot of times I will put my gratitude in my daily. Oh, no, my hand. <sighs> See what I'm talking about? That right there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, a lot of times I will put my gratitude in the morning. I did not let that dry before I stuck my hand right there. Ugh, that's annoying. That's annoying. And I can't even like, I mean, I could write it out, but then I'd have to like use a different pen because <sighs> whatever. Embrace the imperfections. That's what we're doing this year. Embracing imperfections I'm trying to use like as many stickers as I can because honestly like once once I use these kits I kind of stick them in my used kit pile uh, I have like a box 
and I mean, really, like, I may or may not <laughs> ever go back to them. So, just because I have so many stickers that I don't necessarily have to go back and use leftover kits. So, I usually don't. I don't want these to be lined up in case you're wondering. Okay. All right, you guys, I think that is it. I will add more things here if I don't get anything, but more than likely this will probably be what this is driving me crazy more than likely this will probably be what this looks like for the week i gotta cut that <laughs> that little piece right there it just keeps i keep seeing it i just keep seeing it And my stomach's growling. So I guess it's dinner time now. Come on. I'm probably just making it worse. Okay. Yep. I think I'm making it worse. So... Pretty sure. Okay. Woo. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. A mess. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And I forgot to mention this, but I totally PR for Cheyenne over at The Right Place Plans. So please use code BRANDY20 to save 20% off your order. And also make sure you're following me and her on Instagram because we always post like, you know, different sales, promotions, new releases and things like that. So anytime she gives that information to me, I make sure that I share it with you guys on my Instagram. So definitely follow me on Instagram as well if you're not already doing so. And leave me a comment below and let, him, let it, me know, are you team winter or no? <laughs> team winter or no i can tell you right now that i am team no thank you no ma'am no winter but you know midwest living here we are but again i hope you enjoyed it and i will definitely be sure to catch you in the next one be safe be kind or be quiet and be well and i'll see you next time <laughs>